How this thousand-year-old secret formula was discovered is still a mystery to us. While taking a break during a cultural heritage conservation work, I came across the Tongtian Mishu Yolan, an ancient book from the Qing dynasty, on the altar of the Kluong Guan Yin Temple in 2019. As I skimmed over it, the words anti-plague pill immediately caught my attention. A closer examination revealed an all too familiar term. Jiang Shen Shen. It's a blessing from the Bodhisattva my team exclaimed, as they leaned in for a closer look. Let's make this healing incense as soon as possible they said. After years of preparing homemade incense from countless recipes, I still had no idea what a plague was, let alone how to make a repellent against it. While everyone was celebrating, I offered incense to the Bodhisattva. Merciful Bodhisattva I prayed, grant this disciple the luck he needs, to make this healing incense in your honor. Several days later, I went to some of my local Chinese medicine stores, and purchased Jiang Zhen Xiong, Frankincense, Kongju, Zi Xin, Chuan Xiong, and Gansong. I ground the ingredients, mixed in white Australian sandalwood, Gunung Tahan natural binding powder, Gunung Lumbuck spring water, and finished by kneading out a plate full of incense balls. Each of the incense ball, transformed into sweet-smelling pellets, that turned my shabby study room, into a purple bamboo grove in a flash, thanks to the heaven's blessing, of sun and heat. I was thrilled with the result. The next step, was to invite friends over, to enjoy the scent. The aroma was relaxing and pleasant, with a sense of spiritual connectedness emanating from it. Backflow incense is not only enjoyed by youths, even octogenarians have expressed an interest in learning how to make it, claiming that blessings flow with each need, and wanting to deliver a more personal offering to the Buddha. In the middle of my delight, I thought of going back to the ancient temple, for the upcoming spring festival to pay my respects. However, my joy was brief. Mankind, as I quickly discovered, has been afflicted by fatal plagues for thousands of years. And the horrific memories, aren't even faint, or distant. It felt as though I had fallen into 18 layers of hell. Day and night, we kept hearing news of people getting infected, and died before reaching the hospitals. I awoke to a night storm, haunted by visions of terrifying plagues. We're sitting ducks out here waiting to be killed I thought. Why not put up a fight? But on second thought, I realized it would be an uphill battle. In its native script, the anti-plague pill known as P when done, contains the word P, which was also often written as B, that conveys the meaning of evasion or prevention. So, based on the clues from the ancient temple secret recipe, I got out of bed, turned on the computer, and began looking for information about plague prevention incense. To my pleasant surprise, a casual Google search turned up dozens of similar articles on anti-plague incense. Everyone was burning incense, starting from the height of the Song Dynasty's forensic medicine era, to the time of Empress Dowager Qixi of the Qing Dynasty. It was even being used exclusively to prevent epidemics. And the ancients recorded many successful experiences. 
I'm now at peace. With a smile, I resumed my writing of the ancient temple anti-plague pill series. The Tongtian Mishu Yao Lun was a renowned folk encyclopedia compiled by Wang Rungtung in the mid Qing dynasty. It was a widely used reference book comparable to today's Google. The word Tongtian implies a divine piercing attribute as well as the positive force of its substance. And the anti-plague pill's remarkable potency, the burning of this pill stops plague infections. was also mentioned in the book when an outbreak occurs burn it throughout every corner of the house to prevent infections was the advice given despite each fragrant pill is only about the size of a long and fruit this outbreak is similar to today's novel coronavirus pandemic which has claimed over 5 million lives worldwide the phrase Throughout every corner of the home is one of my favorites. This is because I get worried each time I pick up a disinfectant. My lifetime collection of manuscripts, calligraphy, and paintings in the study room. The fresh food I'll be cooking in the kitchen. The plush garments hanging in the bedroom. Is aerosol the only viable solution? Wouldn't there be a bit of alcohol here and there? Let's light up incense for a change. Not only can smoke vapors bend and flow into hard-to-reach cracks and cavities, but they can also diffuse through porous walls as well. Coiled incense, beloved by spiritual practitioners, as well as stick incense, a preferred option for a cultured society. were produced to keep the blessing alive. The most interesting part of course is their public appeal which matches the ingots of kamanian incense used by my Indian neighbor for his morning prayer rituals. Coincidentally, recent press reports have shown a streak of zoo tigers infected with the coronavirus. If a cat or dog is found to be infected, it must be put down immediately. and humanely as possible free roaming cats and dogs that have been adopted need to be examined on a regular basis throughout the year but one could only wonder how would kittens and puppies wear masks when the veterinarian came for a house visit the other day everyone was masked and sanitized as i held my 14 year old tuxedo cat and waited from afar I quietly lit up a piece of the anti-plague pill, folded my hands, and prayed in silence. May the cats, dogs, and people at home be safe. I eventually met my mom and gave her the anti-plague pills I recently made once the lockdown was over. There's still enough left. Such precious incense should only be used for large festivals, she said, waving them away in decline. Mom has always been frugal all her life. I told her I was working on an article called Guan Yin, Niao Niao, Buddha and Bodhisattva, based on couplets found in the Guan Yin Temple in my hometown, and inquired how the goddess should be correctly addressed. I'm illiterate. I don't know what the couplet says. I just lit my incense and offered prayers to Guan Yin while heading my way to tap rubber, she said. She then went silent for a while, pondering. I haven't gone there in a long time since the outbreak began, she later confessed. This pack of incense is for the Guan Yin at home. Please light it up every day, okay? I said as I placed the anti-plague pills in her palm. I'll prepare a few extra kilos of it and donate them to the temple on your behalf. Hearing of this, she tenderly smiled, clutching the incense with both hands. <laughs>